Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the new subscribers that have joined the channel recently. Thank you very much. Uh, your support's greatly appreciated. I uh, hope you can stick around and watch some of my future content. Anyway, let's get on with the video. I've got an unboxing to do. Well, it's kind of half unboxed anyway, but we'll get on with that anyway. Let you see what I've been buying. Absolute goy. So I've got three one meter lengths of two inch to finish off the pipe work for the shower, which I'll hopefully be doing on my day off this week. Um, weather permitting, I think it's to chuck it down, so we'll see what happens. Might just put a coat on and brave it, just for you lovely people on YouTube. Right then, let's get the box open and see what we've got. Hmm. Piece of heavy duty foam. already opened that the Colombo Fish Protect I need to get some in just to get rid of the chlorine that I had um, along with I had thiosulfate as well I put that in but I thought I just wanted to make sure with this so that's why I added that as well because that removes more than just chlorine whereas thiosulfate only removes the chlorine so I thought I'll get that in and then it'll detoxify the water that was the idea anyway whether it makes a difference or not who knows 2 inch non return flapper valve um, that's to go on my shower line just so that when I shut the shower line it doesn't put back pressure on the pump connector for the 2 inch pipe very exciting this stuff isn't it not And it's Lee Hadfield's favourite PSB PSB Lee PSB Lee How can you forget PSB Lee There we go Get some of that into the new filter um, <coughs> Onto the new media when I get it all up and running, the new pond. Helps speed things up. So that's it. Let me spin you around. Jesus, you don't get much for your money, do you? Crazy. What's the world coming to? Two bottles of liquid non-return valve and three meters of bloody plastic pipe criminal but we do it for the love of coin catch you in a bit guys Charles Austin diaphragm kit has arrived time to get it changed on the old bad boy four years that's never missed a beat better give it some TLC and stick this in it
up but it cooled down a bit because it was bloody hot. No wonder it's like 35 degrees in here. I've just left the door open to let a bit of air circulate but I don't know how much air is actually getting in because there's not much outside. that a bit longer, that's absolutely piping. about the noise just doing a bit of an easy pod clean Ugh, it's a flouter um, black pines are coming along nicely profi drums working hold on one second just got to clean it there we go as easy as that. Fish are doing well. Almost ready to go out there. And ammonia is 0 0.03. Uh, five minutes to go on the nitrite. And I've still got to add the cuvette to the total chlorine. Catch you in a bit, guys. Oh dear. Time to change the cartridges in three stage. I was going to start using my two big blues. Um, one there, one there. But I'm going to wait until the fish are out of the tank. Let's see what the temperature of the tank is. I'm going to wait until the fish are out of here. 23.2 that's because I've had it off for 15 minutes while I'm cleaning the easy pod um, just drying the condensation out the lid Tempest working nicely um, got the bypass slightly open just so that I'm not exceeding the limit through it which I'm sure I'm not anyway I'll get back to you when I'm doing some more work to the pond. Just for the sake of it, let's do a tempest clean. Open the bypass valve there, shut these, and boom.
That must have been rubbish that was in the pipework. Uh, hmm. Yuck. Right, simple as that, and then just to get it back up and running again, close the valve, open the slide valves, and then shut the bypass again. There we go. Piece of cake. Glad I fitted that bypass. I don't even need to turn the pump off. Ideal. Let me know what you think in the comments below guys. Get back to you in a bit. Got six times suction cup handles for glass. If anyone's interested, give me a shout. Um, obviously they've all, well not all of them have been used, I only used four. Um, so I'll do a bundle deal on all six. Um, and it'll be a lot cheaper than what you can buy them new anyway, because I think they're about eight quid each. Um, probably looking for about, I don't know, say 20 quid for the lot, message me down below if you're interested. Haven't done as much filming as I would like to have done today, um, what I've done is I've made a, a concrete uh, slab for the Backy shower to sit on because I'm not going to tile underneath the backy shower, I'm just going to sit it on the concrete plinth I've made. Um, what else have we done? I've started tiling the top of the pond. Um, I'll let you see that in a bit. And I've set up, well, I've not set up, but I've I've half set up the big blue, so I'll just take you over now and show you that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, gonna have one sitting here just now. And this is a point just so I can test, instead of testing from the drum or whatever or testing for the actual pond and just test the water coming out the dechlorinator that's probably the the most accurate reading you'll get uh, the pipe goes along the back there into a 90 elbow and along the top of there where I'm going to control it from here with this and I just need to order another elbow to take it from here into there and then on the other end of this this pipe here I've got a T like that on the inside of the drum just to stop it pulling back out so I'll just cut the pipe there or there stick the elbow on and then it's heading round the round the underside there and I just control the flow from there Um, I also need to connect the end line up, but that's easy enough to do. <coughs> um, I was going to put that before the big blue, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I think I'm going to have that big blue running the pond and my other big blue for the grown. So I have two separate lines all together rather than trickling in through I was gonna put both of them together and trickle in to the pond and the 
and grown. I'm, uh, I'm just going to have one big blue for the pond, one for the tank, as I said. And that way, if one goes on one, it only goes on the one and then not both systems. Uh, also, it means I can set the flow through the, the big blues just to one system, whereas if I have one feed going into one big blue and then two lines coming out, it's going to increase the flow rate through the, the one system, so I'll just keep them separate and then hopefully the carbon should last a bit longer. Man, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, that's enough waffling on and the video is probably going to be long enough now as it is, so I'd like to thank you all for watching and hopefully see you again on the next one. Oh, a quick thing on the competition, to guess the pond size that I'd done a couple of videos ago, I was going to do like a, well originally it was going to be a 500 subscriber giveaway to guess the pond volume, but um, I'm a long way off 500, so I think what I'll do is, I'm almost at 400, I think I'm three subscribers away or something, two subscribers, so what I'll do is, as soon as I hit the 400, um, I'll let it run for a week, once I've hit the 400, and then I'll do the draw, and whoever's closest, or whoever's got it right, will be the winner um, so yeah head over to that video comment below with what you think the total volume of the pond is and you will win the absolute koi ultra skim not bad for free so good luck with that and take care and I'll catch you all in the next one JMAC koi out Whoa!